Determine the following ratios without the use of a calculator by first writing the ratio in terms of special angles. So we see here that um, we have sine of three, uh, 75 degrees. Now, we know sine of 75 degrees is no special angle, um, but we can write it in terms of special angles, isn't it? We know that 75 is 45 uh, plus 30. 45 and 30 degrees are definitely special angles. So I can rewrite this as sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. And this is where my compound angle identities come in because all I need to do is take my, write this with my compound angle identity which I know is um, for sine it's same sine different ratios. So sine of 45 degrees cos of 30 degrees same sign different uh, same sign so that's a plus if that's a plus is a plus uh, different ratios so this must be cos of 45 degrees and sine of 30 degrees okay just make sure that your your sine 45 and a sine 30 is included cos 30 and cos 45 don't swap sine and cos in both the angles as well okay if you know what I meant by that but okay so um, in order to use our special angles we're going to need our special angle diagram which I recommend you you know of by heart okay so we have uh, there we go not very difficult actually very, very easy where everything has a radius of 2 we start here numbering for x as the square root of 0, the square root of 1, the square root of 2, the square root of 3, the square root of 4, which is 2, and then we start numbering from here, 0 uh, for the y value, square root 1, square root 2, uh, square root 3, and on this side, square root 4. And there we go, that's our special angles triangle. So now we can go and replace uh, the values since sine of 45, there's 45 degrees and we know that for f uh, sine it is y, uh, sorry, y square root 2 over r, so that is square root 2 over 2, cos of 30 degrees, there's 30 degrees, that's x over r, so that is x and r is 2. So square root 3 over 2 plus cos of 45, the same as sine of 45 because these two values are the same, but that's mm, square root 2, which is 45 degrees. So that's square root 2 over radius is still 2. And sine of 30 degrees, hopefully by now you know it's a half. Okay, why is it a half? Well, sine is y, which is square root of 1, which is just 1 over 2, which is the radius. Okay, so what do we get here? Here we get square root 2 times square root 3 is the square root of 6. Please remember when we multiply square roots, we may multiply the interiors, but if we add square roots, we can't do anything um, to add them unless they are the exact same square root. There, but um, this is not because we've got square root 6 over 4 plus square root 2 times 1 is just 1 square root 2 over 2. Sorry, over 4 as well. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, this this is what I mean. Here we have square root of 6 and the square root of 2 is not the square root of 8. Okay? It can't be simplified. Okay? The square root is a multiplicative or actually a, a divisive, divisive, I, I don't know what the word is, but um, it the operation that we're working with is actually multiplication. And therefore, when we multiply, we can mess with the interiors. But addition is a weaker um weaker operation and therefore we can't mess with the interiors of a square root. I, I don't think that made sense to you but just remember you can't add square roots interiors. Okay so over 4 that's it. That's the simplest we can make this if we have to make it into one fraction. How about the next one? This next one cos of 375 we first have to write it in an as an acute angle and one thing you notice 375 is past we've gone past 360 and one thing that you can just take to heart is that you can subtract as many 360s as you want to and it won't change the sign okay so if we subtract 360 we just get cos of 15 degrees and cos of 15 degrees is cos of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees 
and that can be written as cos of 45. Remember, cos is the same ratio, different signs. Cos 45, cos of 30, minus uh, becomes a plus, as different signs, uh, same ratios. Cos plus uh, sine, sine of 45, sine of 30 degrees. And then what do we get? Cos of 45, we've already seen in the previous one, that was square root 2 over 2. Cos of 30 degrees, we saw was square root 3 over 2. Same thing here. And plus sine of 45 degrees. Sine of 45 is equal to square root 2 over 2. And sine of 30 degrees is equal to a half. Okay. Now, interesting enough, we get exactly the same answer we get square root 6 plus square root 2 over 4. Okay, why is that? Well, because cos of 15 and sine of 75, the angles are complementary angles. Therefore, sine of something and si cos of the complementary angle of that sine angle is, is the same. Okay, so hopefully you are getting excited if you see these type of patterns. How about tan of... Uh, 285. First, let's write it as a compound, um, a compound. Sorry, an acute angle. And we notice this is in the fourth quadrant. Acute angles in the fourth quadrant made with the x-axis uh, is 360 minus. So this is um, tan of 360 minus. Only only cos is positive in that quadrant, so tan will be minus. Okay. Uh, well, let's first write it as this. Let's say this is tan of 360 degrees minus 75. Okay, and that would be um, negative tan of 15 and negative 15 degrees because we're talking about a fourth quadrant angle where tan will be positive uh, negative. Uh, Let's finish the cast diagram. Well, tan would be negative in the fourth quadrant. Uh, 360 minus 75, uh, fourth quadrant angle. However, tan of 15 is a first quadrant angle, and in the first quadrant, tan will be positive. So we have to multiply with a negative 1 to keep the original sign. Okay, hopefully by now you get all that. But tan of 15 degrees, we can write this as tan of 45 degrees minus 15. Problem though, we have one problem. This uh, 45 degrees minus 15, we don't have compound angle identity. We don't know the compound angle identity of f um, tan. Uh, it is there, we just didn't do it, but um, that's okay. That's just tan of, that's just tan, uh, sine of 15. That's just sine of 15 degrees over cos of 15 degrees. Okay, which means that sine of 15 degrees is uh, negative sine of 45 degrees minus 15, uh, sorry not 15, that should be 30, minus 30 degrees over cos of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. In the numerator that one becomes minus sine 45 uh, yeah, cos 30 okay minus sine 30 cos 45 divided by make sure that negative belongs to both those terms we still have to multiply it in cos of 45 that would be cos of 45 cos of 30 uh, minus becomes a plus sine of uh, 30 f uh, 45 sine of 30 okay we put in our values what do we get okay so we still have that negative that will just go down all the way to the bottom we know this answer must be negative because tan in the fourth quadrant is negative okay so here we have what square root 2 over 2 times cos of 30 square root 3 over 2 minus sine of 30 is a half cos of 45 is square root 2 over 2 okay see how it helps to know this off by heart okay 
square root of 2 of 2 is cos of 45, cos of 30 is square root of 3 over 2, uh, plus sine of 45, square root of 2 over 2, sine of 30 is a half. Okay, and, and these look almost exactly the same, don't they? Okay, if it wasn't for that plus minus, this answer would have been 1, okay? But again, that, that's not going to work like that. So what do we have? We have, if we multiply this, uh, remember the negative we've got in the numerator, square root 6 minus the square root of 2 over 4. And in the denominator, we have the same thing. We've got square root 6, but we have plus the square root of 2 over 4. And now when we multiply it, um, uh, do we tip in time, so remember the negative, we get square root 6 minus square root 2 over 4 multiplied by 4 over square root 6 plus square root 2. Okay, that, that's what we have, and, and we see here it cancels very nicely. But this is now where I want to draw your attention to this last question, is you'll notice in the question they would often tell you to leave your answer with rational denominators. And we don't have rational denominators. Our denominator is two irrational numbers being added together. Um, how will we rationalize it? Well, um, and I'm quickly going to show it because I'm taking too long in this video. We multiply with, the, um, with square root 6 minus square root 2. So with, and then the numerator and the denominator. And the reason why is because now in the denominator I've got the difference of two squares. So this becomes 6 minus 2. The square root, actually the square of 6 times, of square root 6 times the square of square root 2. And that is just 6 minus 2, which in the denominator there we have 4. When we multiply this out, okay, we get the square root of 6 the square root of 6 squared minus 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 6 minus or actually plus okay and let's just keep our brackets there um, negative square root 2 times negative square root 2 gives me positive 2 okay and this is positive 6 so I get 8 so here we go We've, we get 8 times, and here again we're multiplying two square roots with each other, so it's a minus, uh, square root 2 times square root 6 would give me square root of 12. But the square root of 12 can be written as 4 times 3, okay, and divided by 4. Okay, and what I want to show you here is that we know what the square root of 4 is. So if, if I can multiply two square roots like like that and get the square root of 12, then I can also, when I am multiplying the interiors, just break it up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. So it's just the opposite of, of, of that, okay? So, and this, the square root of, uh, then we have 2 times, square root of 4 is 2, so I've got 2 times 2, which is 4, and now I see I can take 4 out as a common factor to get 4 and 2 minus square root 3, over 4, and don't forget the negative, because I did, okay, and there that cancels, and eventually when I multiply in my negative, I get negative 2 and positive square root 3, so I'm just going to write it as the square root of 3 minus 2, and then you're going to say, oh wow, that's a lot of work, but one thing that you probably kept track of is, shouldn't this be a negative number? Well, go and work it out, it is. Okay, square root of 3 is less than 2, so when I take square root of 3 minus 2, I get a negative number. Now, that was a lot of work. I know that. And look at that. <laughs> that is a lot, a lot of work. Okay, but, um, yeah, this, is, this isn't this is difficult. It's really um, the same thing, just done a lot of times. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I really did enjoy that, even though I'm quite tired of this long question. But um, I hope you enjoyed it, too.